patients with HTC should be trans, uh, should be evaluated for liver transplantation. At the moment, we have um, clearly criteria who defines who could receive a liver transplantation, and these are the Milan criteria, which means that patients should not have more than three tumor nodule, nodules, which should be uh, smaller than three centimeters, or they can have one tumor nodule, which needs to be smaller than five centimeters. All patients that are within Milan are potentially candidates uh, for liver transplantation. So when we have really an early diagnosis of HTC, patients should be referred to a transplantation center and should be evaluated whether they are candidates for liver transplantation. In some countries, patients that have larger tumors and are downstaged to a tumor sites within Milan are also candidates for liver transplantation. In Germany, it's not allowed. So once you are out of Milan, you are out of Milan forever. And even if you have the downstaging, you are not allowed to receive liver transplantation. But this is different in other countries. And downstaging has been shown in uh, several retrospective studies can be very, a very effective mean to really identify patients that have a good benefit from liver transplantation. So every patient that have a tumor within Milan either before di at first diagnosis or during um, follow-up treatment should be um, referred to a transplantation center and should be evaluated for liver transplantation. So liver transplantation is a really, really good option for patients with cirrhosis and, of course, if patients with cirrhosis and, and HCC. But we've got big pro we have a big, really, really big problem. It, that's, the, that's the shortness of grafts for the patients. So especially here in, 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 West, in Europe and in the Western world, in some countries, the, the rates of donors are even decreasing, so we don't have much organs for these patients. Um, so the, I don't think liver transplantation will be the, the best option for the patients in the future because we will have increasing rates of HCCs and we don't have that many grafts. So I think only patients with really advanced cirrhosis who cannot get other treatments should get liver transplantation. And um, if you just do it concerning the, the transplantation, you can consider if you use marginal, so-called marginal organs, which are organs of low quality for patients who are in better shape but have HCC, and that for patients with so-called end-stage liver disease, because in these patients you cannot use marginal organs. I think uh, every center who is doing, doing liver transplantation is doing some kind of um, a, a bridging to transplant. So this, this may be options like local ablation, like radio frequency ablation or microwave ablation, but also taste if you have more nodules to treat. So I think this, this is more or less standard, and it's a bit depending on the, on the local, um, uh, local uh, specialities. And I think it's also you should discuss such treatments with the surgeon who is doing the transplant, because if you do taste, you can, can uh, do injuries to the arteries and so on, and you should always discuss it with your uh, searching what kind of local ablation or local treatment and bridging to transplant you do.